Wardlow has been over with the fans since he debuted for All Elite Wrestling. His look, incredible strength and athleticism are setting him apart from the crowd. But, what else do we know about him? Let's find out. Number 10. Is he the next big thing? And by that, I mean the next Brock Lesnar. People love to pinpoint similarities between pro wrestlers, and many have compared Wardlow to names like Goldberg and Lex Luger. Well, being a pro wrestling fan myself, I'm here to make another interesting comparison. Wardlow is not just a big muscular man who squashes his opponents within two minutes like Goldberg. He has proven that he can have amazing matches, just like Brock, when he wants to. Both men have incredible agility for their size, and the similarities don't stop there. Wardlow's most popular signature move has to be the Powerbomb Symphony, which was inspired by two of his favorite wrestlers, Kevin Nash and Batista, but he also has another great move, the F10. As the name suggests, it's similar to Brock Lesnar's F5, but Wardlow delivers it standing, while Brock drops down in the end. Another similarity is that both men don't like the human race too much, and they avoid living in the middle of a big city. They love the countryside and the forests. And there are more similarities between them, such as. Number 9. Mixed Martial Arts Background Many pro wrestlers have ties to MMA. Some were heavily involved such as Brock Lesnar and Ronda Rousey, while others are less involved but can still whoop someone if needed, such as Wardlow. That's right, before making his way into the professional wrestling world, Wardlow had previous training in boxing and also jiu-jitsu. So, in case his huge frame wouldn't be enough to intimidate someone, having this kind of background will definitely do the job. Number 8. Dream Matches and the one that made him feel special. Wardlow has faced the likes of Cody, MJF, and a bunch of poor souls that received tons of power bombs. But, who was the man that made him feel fulfilled? It was CM Punk. In an interview with Chris Van Vliet, Wardlow has stated that he's usually very zoned in before a big match, but not with Punk. He couldn't really believe that it's happening. He also said that he felt nervous before the match but he felt very comfortable once the bell rung. This was one of the most important matches in his life, and as Wardlow said, he may have lost, but in the end he really won, meaning that this match elevated his career. He has stated that he really wants to wrestle the best of the best, and of course one of the names that comes to mind is Kenny Omega. He also wants to wrestle John Moxley, and I don't know about you, but it sounds like a dream all-out fight to me. Number 7. His All Elite Wrestling Tryout Everyone needs friends in this business in order to succeed, even a lone wolf like Wardlow. One of his good friends is former All Elite Wrestling Women's Champion Britt Baker, and they became good friends in IWC, a big indie promotion in Pittsburgh. Wardlow was their champion for a year, and he impressed a lot of people during his reign. And this worked out in his favor, as many people, including his friend Britt Baker, told one of All Elite Wrestling's EVPs about the talented big man that they need to sign. That EVP was Cody Rhodes. Cody was contacted by multiple people about Wardlow, so he thought to give him a shot. Wardlow flew to Atlanta, had a five-minute match with QT Marshall, and Cody was sold. He made the wise decision to sign the big man, unlike his current promotion. Number 6. His World Wrestling Entertainment Tryout Before All Elite, Wardlow had tried his luck with WWE. He had an impressive tryout, he did everything right, and yet it wasn't enough for them to sign him. And here's the funny part. They told him to quote unquote, go make a name for himself. Well, it turns out that Wardlow took that piece of advice seriously and really made a name for himself. WWE is reportedly interested in signing him once his current contract expires. Number 5. He almost quit professional wrestling. When Wardlow had his WWE tryout, all elite wrestling wasn't a thing. So, he didn't have many options. He either had to wait until his next shot at WWE, or get signed by Impact Wrestling. He has mentioned that he emailed them every other week, but nothing. Fortunately for him, he didn't quit, he was finally signed by a big company, and the rest is history. Number 4. What he has learned from his old pal. As we all know, Wardlow started out as MJF's bodyguard, and was kayfabe under contract with him and not all elite wrestling. Things went south, and the two solved their differences inside the ropes, but Wardlow is still grateful for some lessons he learned from Maxwell Jacob Friedman. One of this lessons is the business aspect, to know his true worth, and the other is about storytelling. Well, MJF has nailed them both, 
So I guess he's a good mentor in these aspects. Number 3. Real name, age, height and more. I've been referring to the big man as Wardlow during the whole video, but, what's his actual name? Well, it's Wardlow. Michael Austin Wardlow to be exact. So yeah, he's one of the few wrestlers that uses his real name as his work name too. Michael was born on January 19, 1988, which means he's 34 years old. He was born in Middlefield, Ohio and he debuted in 2014. He's billed as 6 feet 3 inches tall, but some say he's more around 6 foot 2, and 267 pounds, or around 190 centimeters, and 121 kilos for my European brothers. Number 2. His promo was actually very real. During a promo for his upcoming match against MJF, Wardlow talked about how he was brought up by a single mother, with two other siblings, and all the things he said were true. He was indeed raised by a single mother and has two older sisters. Incorporating a huge amount of truth during this promo, made his story more relatable and heartfelt, which resulted into getting even more love by the fans, making the roles perfectly clear. Wardlow was the good guy, and MJF, well, himself. Number 1. If you have a gimmick match, just give him a call. Since all elite wrestling began, Wardlow has competed in ladder, steel cage, blood and guts, lumberjack, MMA rules cage, and stadium stampede matches. I haven't looked it up, but I'm pretty sure that's a record. Anyway, another fact is that Wardlow has made some being the elite appearances. He doesn't appear often, which is probably what's best for the serious badass character that he portrays, but when he does, he cracks everyone up. Maybe John Silver is doing the trick, but either way, here are some of his best BTE moments. Hey Wardlow, um, I got you a Valentine's Day card. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, <laughs> you can read it. Hungi. You should probably uh, hit catering, but thank you, bud. Surprise of here. Oh, oh. Does that say I love you in numbers? Bro, you get me. Oh, great eyebrows. Appreciate it. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I'm a married man, but for you, anything. Oh, uh, actually, this, this isn't for you. You're not really my type, man. Number one, Wardlow? Silver and Reynolds, Landslide. Are you kidding? Are you 